So I've just created a simple compound shape using an additive box brush and combining that with a subtractive cylinder brush to create a cube with a cylindrical hole through the middle of it. And now what I'm going to do is to convert that shape into a single static mesh. So to do that I need to select both of my brushes that are combining to create my shape. So I'm just holding down the command key while I select both of them over here in the scene outliner. And then down here in the details panel I'm going to click this button that says create static mesh. Then I'll give my mesh a name. And um, navigate to whichever folder. I'm just going to leave it out here in the game folder and click create static mesh. So now we have a single static mesh that's been created out of those two combined brushes but you can see here it's got some errors so what we have to do to fix those I'll just first save everything and then double click to go inside that new static mesh that I created and I'll just make that full screen so we can see everything so if I just rotate around you can see yep it's a good static mesh exactly how we want it to look but they come in with no collision and without proper um, UV settings so that's why you're getting that light map error. So the first thing to set is the collision so with the collision button selected you go up here to where it says collision and this is a pretty simple shape so I'm just going to add a box simplified coll collision but if you wanted to you could add more complex ones by choosing one of these other options here. So that's given me a simple collision, box collision outline around my shape. The next thing I have to fix is the UV. So I'm clicking on that to select it and it comes in with two UV channels and channel one is the one you actually want but for some reason to turn it on you've got to do this weird two-step process. So it's not just a simple matter of picking it from here. You have to uncheck the box next to generate light map, apply the changes then you have to turn it back on and apply the changes again and then when you select channel 1 and save and come back out here you'll see that you've now got a normal looking default surface on your static mesh and you could apply a material to it.